What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug and as promised I'm going to do a rotisserie chicken for you guys. Got a whole chicken here from my local supermarket. It is 3.92 pounds. Since the cookbook did call for 4 pounds, I guess I'll keep it safe. I tried. I would have did a 5 or a 6, but I didn't see it. Um, rinse my chicken off and then we'll uh, dry it off and we'll start to season it. Anywho, what I like to do first is spray some um, olive oil on it just so that my seasonings could stick better, I believe. So I'm just going to just rub it around both sides. You don't have to go too crazy, but just enough for it to go on there. Okay, that's good. Now, what I like to do, this is optional, is I'm going to put some smoked paprika on there. You could use regular paprika, that's fine. You don't have to go overboard with this either. You're going to do both sides. Just kind of rub it in. This is going to give some nice color, guys. If you have a rub or seasoning that, that has pep paprika in it already, then, of course, you wouldn't need to do this step. But the seasonings that I'm going to use uh, don't have paprika in it. And, and, and it's not to say you have to use paprika, but it just deepens your color, I believe. And we're going to do that to the other side as well. By the way, some of you are experts at this type of stuff. You're just here because you bought this new air fryer. So, for you guys, season your rotisserie chicken however you normally would season a whole chicken or rotisserie chicken, however you do it. You can just be entertained at this point. <laughs> I'm going to use my go-to seasoning, which is pink salt, black pepper, and garlic. Let's add some of that. Only because um, the seasonings that I use generally, um, I find that it, it, although it does have sodium in it, it seems that like my meats need a little extra salt. So that's what I'm doing here. And finally, guys, I'm going to use some kicking chicken. Got this from Sam's Club. Your local Walmart will, or supermarket will have this. Probably a smaller bottle, but I got this from Sam's. It's pretty good, guys. Gives your meats a great flavor. Again, we're going to do this to both sides. All right. All right, guys. Now, in the cavity, I like to just throw whatever in there. But like I said, whatever you normally do, you can do it. Nothing changes. I'm going to put some liquid smoke in there. I just squirt some in there. Two good squirts. Why not? Today, I'm going to put some red, I mean some crushed peppers from Jamaican Choice in there. Just to see how that goes. I'm excited on that. Why not? And then finally, finally, I have this. I also bought from Sam's. Same time as I bought the kicking chicken is this Weber um, garlic parmesan. I'm gonna throw a lot of that in there. And that should be good. So I'm gonna let this marinate, I don't know, I'm gonna put it in my refrigerator. Um, it's about 12 o'clock now, so this is gonna be dinner, so I'm gonna let it sit there for at least, I don't know, uh, three four hours but um, if you're going if you're more of a, in a pinch of time I would at least let it sit there for like 30 minutes for sure all right so I'll be back but we are ready to tie this thing up get it into the power XL and get eaten so guys I recommend some form of string I bought this off of Amazon um, and these are like they're already like assembled, like you, they just stretch and they come like this. This is pretty cool, so you don't have to, you know, uh, make a knot or anything like that. But if you have any type of string, that's fine. You, all you need is a scissor or a knife. 
I'm gonna try and be more efficient today. <laughs> and shout out to all you guys that know how to tie tie your uh, whole chicken. I, I'm not really good at that, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and do a, a decent job today. All right, come on. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> but anywho, like I said, if what I did intimidated you, this is how I used to do it before. I would take three of these from this bag. And by the way, link will be in the description to these um, strings, right, elastic strings. Uh, I would take one, put it right here, double tie it or double loop it around the, um, the leg. Put one around the thigh and one around the wing. Now we have to deal with this. So, and some of you know how this works. So you see this right here? You unscrew it, and then it comes off. Like so. See, it's got the square, and that goes in there like that. And then you just screw it down. So, <clears throat> you wanna keep one side screwed in and then you'll, you'll put this in the middle, in the cavity, and get it to the other end, and then you'll just screw in the other end. So basically, you just screw this in so it touches that, so it'll be tight. Unscrew it, screw it. See? And then it doesn't move. That's all. All right? All right, guys, so we're going to put it in, and we want to make sure it gets out the other side. All right, so can you see? Yeah, we can. All right. So, yeah, I want it to come out like that. And so I'm going to see this side. I'm going to dig in there. Make sure it's in good. And then I'm going to put in the other side now. So now we want to get the other side on. So I'm just going to... Push it in there as good as I can. Come on, get in there. Maybe, I, yeah, there we go. Ah. And, oh, gotta pull it out because I have to screw this in. I took this uh, piece out just to show you guys. And so I'm gonna screw it in now. Just to show you that it can come out. All that stuff, sorry. So it's in good. So I'm gonna push it in really good. So yeah, that's what we're looking like. All right, so let's get this baby in here. I'm gonna try and give you guys a decent view. My uh, inside, I don't know if you can see it, will need some cleaning, but I want to get dirty just to see if we can actually clean it. I know some of you guys probably want to know that as well all right so there's two sides of the spit guys so one side the end looks like this and one side the end looks like that so oh one thing I want to men mention as well before I forget you see the left side make sure it's all the way in that left side right there like jam it in that side because that's what's that's where the motor is to um, turn it so it's not both sides, it's just the left side. So, all right, to make sure. All right, let's see what happens. Hopefully it will do it. I continue, I wanna see here, to three chicken. So it says 375 for 45 minutes, okay? Just wanted to make sure. Of course we have our meat thermometer on deck. If you don't have a meat thermometer, definitely, definitely you need one. I like this meat thermometer. I've had it for about two, three years. The ba I never had to change the batteries. You turn it on like this, and then turns off by itself like that. It's just completely pimp-like. So this is the rotisserie button right there. I'm gonna press it. It says 30 minutes. I'm going to increase it to 45 minutes, like the cookbook said. The rotisserie thing is flashing, so it should turn. So let's see what we're working with. There you have it guys. So this is 3.9 pounds guys. So I would say 
tie it really, really, really tight if you're doing four pounds, or just go with three pounds. Three pounds or 3.5. It is coming along beautifully. Mm, mm, mm. Walmart, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, guys, we're just about done. 45 minutes. That's what we're looking like, guys. I think cleanup's going to be easy. I think the key to cleanup right now, you take your rotisserie out and um, discard. You know, like I said, like I do, I pour my oil into a measuring cup while it's hot, let it cool off, and then figure out what I want to do with it. I think if you do that, the cleanup is going to be easy. If you let it sit there, I don't know. So, as long as you have that plan, I think you should be good. I'm going to use the tool that the uh, air fryer came with to take the rotisserie out. You don't need to use this. You would definitely have to have two, like, uh, heat-resistant gloves to take it out. It's going to be extremely hot, of course. Or you could just use this. You just use the hooks, like here. See that? Each side has one. And you're just going to go on each side and lift up and pull out. Easy peasy. And that's what we have to clean up, no problem. So guys, I'm just going to let this sit here for, what, 15 minutes and I'll make the rest of my dinner. Oh, before I go and make the rest of my dinner, I want to share this with you. Um, make sure that these are tight because if they get loose, it will stop spinning. I actually had to re-tighten it. I guess I didn't have it tight enough. I didn't screw down these things tight. Ooh, it's hot. I didn't screw it down tight enough and then it stopped spinning. I think I had like, I don't know, 10 minutes left and I noticed it stopped spinning. So I had to take it out and just uh, re-tighten it again. So just be careful of that. Maybe your first two times, just watch it. You know, come back and watch it every five minutes to make sure it didn't get because if it, if it, if it's not tight, then it ha doesn't have the support to turn it, and then it will just stay still. All right. But most importantly, I I forgot to use my meat thermometer to see where we are. But I'm I'm confident that this. See here, yeah, one seventy one, one seventy three, one seventy four. Yeah. We're good. 175. Yep. So like before, I'm going to get a measuring cup and pour the oil right in there. And I'll just take a paper towel when I'm done and get all that gunk out. Scrape that in there with the paper towel. And then soak it. Well, actually this time, you know what? I'm going to put some degreaser on it. I can and then whatever doesn't come off with this paper towel I will just sit. See? I'll just soak that. That doesn't even look bad, sorry. That doesn't even look bad. But I'll put some degreaser on it. Let me get that now and then just let it sit there. Any degreaser would do, even one from the Dollar Tree, doesn't matter. They're all the same thing. Shout out to Shirley, my admin on Facebook. This one's for you. Clean up is perfect. Like I said, just put some degreaser on there. And I, I probably wouldn't even have to do that. I, I'm sure I would just wipe it down and use some... I use what I use? Dawn... Uh, Ultra, that gets out grease too. I'm sure if I soaked it in that, it, it would have, I would have wiped it away just, just as clean. But yeah, just FYI, who was interested to know, it's easy to clean. For a bonus, I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you me cleaning that. I'd say it's clean. I'll show you guys me tackling inside another day because it's time to eat. <laughs> Quick intermission, guys.
All right, guys. So all you do is detach one side and just slide it out. Go ahead and cut your string. Got one more here. There you go. Looking good, smelling good. That y'all. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. Just cut some pieces off for you guys. Look at that. Mm, that smells good. Shout out to all my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my video is even finished. I appreciate that. That's my quick little dinner, y'all. What y'all know about this hot sauce? It's the bomb. Alright, you saw the paper towel go up. That means it's time to eat. So first, let's have some of this... I guess dirty cauliflower rice. <laughs> I just made this on the fly, guys. But it's going to taste fantastic. You first. That's good. That cumin and that tiger. That tiger sauce. Oh, yeah. It's good. Trust me. It And it doesn't look bad, but it tastes... You'd have to just taste it. Mm. Low carb, healthy, perfect. Come on now. Come on now. Get some of that, please. You got it? Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's, gone. That's the bomb with that green sauce. Bomb.com. Dot org. Y'all get that, please. Mmm. That's too good. Mm -mm -mm. Guys, if you have this air fryer oven or any type of air fryer that plugs in that blows hot air down, um, consider joining my air fryer group. We have over 63,000 members in there. Um, we'd love to see what you're making in your air fryer. And if you need some inspiration, do a search and get recipes. Also, as a bonus, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my low-carb group. It's called Lower Carb Nation, No Keto. And we're just, we're just low-carbing. We're on low-carb diets. Um, we don't take ourselves too seriously in there. So if you're, looking, if you're on a low-carb diet, please come in. We're looking for inspiration. Or if you're looking for inspiration and you don't know where to go or you don't know what to, things to make, Consider joining that group. We'd love to have you either way. If you have Instagram, look me up at Instagram Cooking with Doug. But that's all I got. So hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. And if anything, just thanks for even looking at my video. And look forward to more videos on this uh, Power XL Vortex oven. Alright, we out.